Hello everyone and welcome uh, to another video where we are going to be talking about an operating system known as Fedora. Uh, which the good news is that Fedora 34 release, which is out now, is the best of all versions in the history of Fedora. So let's get started. I'm going to tell you more and more about Fedora and we're going to be diving into uh, some features which uh, makes Fedora one of the most incredible uh, OSs out there for developers and programmers. So it's not just advices as you know, uh, I recently switched to Fedora 34 from Windows 10 and uh, I have tested this uh, great OS and I think it's been uh, one month now. Uh, I just want to take my time, work a little bit with this beautiful workstation and finally find out if it's worth uh, working on this OS. So uh, the, the answer is yes uh, and I love this OS uh, the most. I have worked on Ubuntu, CentOS, Windows 7, Windows 10, uh, not Windows 11 by the way and Fedora is the best of them uh, by far. So. We're gonna review some aspects of Fedora which makes uh, Fedora one of the best uh, OSs for programming out there. Let's get started. So the first aspect is the support of emerging technologies. So for example if you're gonna work on uh, artificial intelligence, machine learning, deep learning or containers and all that stuff, Fedora is um, one of the best OSs out there. Uh, Fedora has extensive libraries, tutorials, examples, and uh, no other OS offers the same level of support for the most recent versions, free open source platforms and softwares. That's why um, it is the operating system of choice for many of the most popular frameworks uh, like uh, OpenCV, TensorFlow, PyTorch, and uh, all that kind of stuff. So if you are thinking about containers, as I said, Fedora is the OS of choice as well. For example, we have a Fedora Core, uh, which is an automatically updating uh, minimal operating system for uh, running uh, containerized uh, workloads securely. It provides a secure platform to manage uh, containerized um, applications with technologies like Docker or even uh, Kubernetes. Or again, about the containers, uh, we got the Fedora Silverblue, an immutable desktop operating system that aims at uh, providing good support for container-focused workflows. Uh, and also, developers building uh, IoT solutions can develop their softwares uh, quickly and easily with their preferred tools on Fedora Workstation or build and deploy to IoT hardware running Fedora IoT. Uh, Fedora IoT is an uh, immutable OS that has been built with a focus on security. Alright, so let's move on. The second aspect is uh, the consistent uh, OS experience. The Fedora project is an uh, upstream community distro of Red Hat Enterprise Linux. As you know, Red Hat is the project's primary uh, with many developers and engineers who contribute on this platform. Basically, I'm uh, making it ideal every day. Basically, with each Fedora release, you uh, get technical support, patches, updates, upgrades, and access to extensive documentation and resources. As a community distro, it relies on firm-based support from its uh, team members who set the direction of the OS and chooses and maintains a, a wide range of packages and open source tools. The consistency of Fedora is heavily contributed by a team of Red Hat engineers who help improve features, uh, reliability, security uh, to make uh, sure that uh, both Red Hat and Fedora uh, infrastructure perform and remain stable in any use case and workload. That was the second aspect. Uh, but the next feature um, is that Fedora is a bleeding edge uh, distro. The bleeding edge nature of the Fedora distro re uh, basically relates to its uh, up-to-date nature that uh, offers new experimental more extreme technologies. Fedora always offers new latest open source features, driver updates and software uh, of all that kind 
and um, which makes it the best package of all time all right so an example of this aspect would be gnome 40 support which is totally new and beautiful and it's still widely discussed in the linux forums basically uh, it's widely loved by linux uh, members the uh, up-to-date nature of Fedora ensures that uh, when any new open source technology gets released, uh, it will quickly uh, will be published uh, basically on Fedora's package manager as well. So another example uh, would be the newest release uh, Fedora 34 uh, is pre-packaged with Linux kernel 5.11. And uh, that's a stable kernel uh, offering stability uh, to the uh, Linux OS. So there are uh, tons of different examples like these two which um, can be considered inside of this aspect. Now in my opinion the most important aspect is freedom and that uh, by freedom I mean freedom of hardware and software. Uh, one value of Fedora is freedom which guides Fedora friends and engineers at Red Hat in designing and creating a Linux ecosystem dedicated to free software and content. The Fedora project ensures that developers have access to an extensive library of software development tools. Fedora libraries are always up to date, so developers do not have to basically uh, go out there to find the latest versions of uh, they need. Uh, for example, the latest release uh, of Fedora, which is Fedora 34, preloads all necessary development packages such as Golang, uh, Python, Ruby, MariaDB, uh, or even Ruby on Rails, uh, and many more of uh, the latest versions. And in the other hand, I have to tell you, everything I had on Windows, it's here as well, it's just here. Either it's the software itself or a professional alternative that has nothing less than the Windows version. Now finally, the last aspect uh, is great community support. Fedora enjoys extensive global support from a community of uh, basically contributors like volunteers and Red Hat engineers who uh, work as a team to uh, advance the core foundation of Fedora. As you know, four foundation of Fedora are uh, freedom, features, friends, and first. The team includes software engineers, designers, and artists, web designers, and many more. Everyone can join the team, no matter their skills, and uh, they will always have a place in the community of Fedora project. So, I will put the link in the description below if you just wanted to join this gang. And there are much more links as well as this one, which I will put uh, in the description below as well. Uh, Alright guys, so this is, this is it for this video. I just wanted to make uh, a video about Fedora. Uh, it's your choice, but it's great. I guarantee that you'll enjoy working on this beautiful OS. So, thanks for watching. By the way, let me know your thoughts on Fedora 34 and GNOME 40 if you have worked with them. Uh, in the comment section below, I will be waiting for your comments. Also, subscribe to the channel, like this video, and have a great night.